Hi, I'm Brian Shea. We're here at the RV factory and we're on the factory floor. And I'm here with one of our favorite customers, Daryl. Daryl is a vet. He's from Ohio and uh, he's been working with us for three or four days here on the production line as we're, we're getting his unit ready. And it's a wheelchair accessible unit. And it's our first one. And Daryl's been kind enough to to research all the lifts and everything and uh, we've put this together with him and so he's going to run through and show everybody how it works. Uh, tell us a little bit about the toy hauler and how it's been beneficial to wheelchair accessibility. Uh, this opens up a lot for me mm -hmm. when I travel because my old one there was just a lot of work for me to get in and out of. Mm -hmm. It wasn't designed for someone in a mm -hmm. wheelchair. Mm -hmm. so. I had to make things work the best I could. Getting into the ramp and, and having the wide open toy hauler uh, type of arrangement is really beneficial yes it gives us more floor space because mm -hmm. we take up a lot of more a little bit more room than you do mm -hmm. so to have this extra space you know mm -hmm. extra two inches or whatever makes a world of difference where you can use the bathroom or get into the bedroom mm -hmm. makes a huge difference one of the first things that had happened was that the refrigerator had to be pushed over more so the wheelchair i could get in with my wheelchair to go left or right mm -hmm. We ended up taking out the doorway here. Where I'm setting at now was a door for the bedroom. Mm -hmm. so this is where the big difference is. I can use all this space without having to have another, having a mechanic stool to, stool to move around with. I don't have to transfer into something else, which is a lot nicer. And I can use the toilet, the shower, the sink. Everything's right here. There's no obstacles. They moved the commode over they did a 180 with it, so it's behind the refrigerator now. Where I'm setting at basically was where the toilet was. So with the wall and the doors removed, this mm -hmm. made it a lot more open. And I noticed we moved down to the uh, mirror and the cosmetic box. And yes, the, the vanity was moved down to my height. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of having a vessel sink, we have a flush sink mm -hmm. that I could use. So. And even the switch levels, having the switches where they're not so high. Mm -hmm. Here, it's the small things like that that makes a world of difference for mm -hmm. someone that's in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. 